Hello, Noemi. How are you? Hello, Saul, Alejandro. How's everything? Hello. Can you hear me? Can no, you? I'm feeling fantastic. Okay. <laughs> because <laughs> I thought you couldn't hear me. So how are you? How was your week? Weekend. How was your weekend today? How was good today? Good. Hmm? Good. It was good. Okay, that's nice. And right now you're in your house or working? And you're work, you're working. Ah, at work. I'm okay. working, I'm working. Uh -huh. Okay, so it's okay. Okay, thank you, Noemi. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, Saul Alejandro, hello. How are you? How's everything, Saul? Hi, hi, teacher. Hi, I'm hi. tired. Yes, okay, yes, I, I believe you are tired. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, tell me, what do you remember about the last class? What do you remember? Something you remember about the last class? Excellent, very good, Mario Ernesto, no problem. Okay, uh, any expression or about your... About, about what? About the the class? Uh, something you remember? Have. Have, okay. Have you, have you ever? Uh -huh. have, uh, have been? Uh huh. Okay, yes, very good. Okay, that's nice, very good. Thank you so much for your, 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 what? Your participation. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so um, so tell me how was your how was your weekend? Everything good so far? Okay, so uh, the last the last week we studied the present perfect, right? We were studying the present perfect. I have listened, I have doing something, and so on, right? So I'm going to start with the PowerPoint presentation for today. I'm gonna share with you. So we have welcome to the online English program. Welcome, welcome. I'm tired too. <laughs> I'm tired too. Okay, so starting soon, right? Welcome to the English for class, pre-intermediate module two, online English program. Today is the session 13. This is the last week, the last four days, November 20th. Okay, so the general information, the agenda, so greeting, welcome, general instruction, review, warm up, in sync, in attendance, snapshot, conversation, grammar focus, vocabulary, platform. Have you been here long? Feedback, closing, and five minutes for advices, right? The specific objective, asking for and getting information about activities you have done. Discuss present perfect versus past activities, snapshots, and grammar focus. Complete some grammar exercise in the platform if you haven't done it and identify activities in familiar scenarios and practice model dialogues for creating personal conversations. Here we go. Now, what are we doing today? The specific objectives for the class. Participants will be able to review the last session and ask and answer some personal questions about activities they have done. Participants will be able to talk using present perfect versus simple past, practice and create a conversation based in a model dialogue, complete reading exercise and listening. Uh, repeat some vocabulary expressions, complete some exercise in the platform, check the exercise in the platform and feedback them, giving information about homework assigned. Very good. So we are going to move to the to the different PDF that I have open for you today. So we have many things to do. And so we have uh, a, in the last class, we studied the present perfect, right? So uh, have you ever gone to a, a pop? Have you ever gone to, uh, to, 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 to a what? To a bar? Have you ever gone to a bar in your case? Uh, Saul or Noemi? Have you ever gone to a bar? Or yes, I have or no, I haven't? Yes, mm -hmm. I have. Yes, I have. Ah, okay, that's nice, very good. It was a nice experience. It was... Yes. Okay, so very good. Now, so uh, what about you, Saul? Have you ever gone to a bar? No, I haven't. Did you... Ah, no, you haven't. It's okay. So it's okay. Don't worry. Okay. So uh, now we are going to listen a conversation, but I'm looking for the track. 
Uh, and uh, so we're going to listen the conversation and you're going to tell me what you listen, okay? Here we go, give me a second. Right now it's black, right? Unit 10. Have you ever ridden a camel? Page 64, X. Now, can you hear it? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. Now you're going to listen and you're going to tell me any word you listen. Exercise okay. two, conversation. Expression or vocabulary. A visit to New Orleans. Part A, listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? No, not really. Just a few days. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Okay, now, what did you listen? Something you remember about the, the conversation? Uh huh? Okay. <clears throat> yes. What do you remember? I can one. I can wait to show you. Uh huh. Okay. Excellent. Very good. I can wait to show you the city. I can wait. Uh huh. Very good. So, Alejandro, did you listen something or oh, no? Not yet. Yes. Uh, New Orleans. Long. New Orleans. New Orleans. Yes. New Orleans. That is a city, right? City in United States. Okay. Continue. Oh, well. How about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, okay. now in the next part, what did you listen? Red bus, red bus turn? Wait, wait. Huh? Yes. Uh huh. What else? Something else you listen? And any expression? Any expression? Huh? Something uh, else? Yes. It's taking a a, a river tour. tour. Uh, yes. Uh huh. Take a river boat tour. Thank you so much. Thank you, Noemi. Now you're going to listen one more time. And you are going to read, right? Conversation, a visit to New Orleans, right? This is a city in the United States. So we have, a, in France, we have a Orleans. And here in the United States, we have New Orleans. So give me a moment, please. OK, you're going to listen one more time. Unit 10. Have you ever ridden a camel? Page 64. Exercise 2, Conversation. A visit to New Orleans. Part A, Listen and Practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? No, not really. Just a few days. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah. I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay. Okay, so... <clears throat> Okay, so uh, do you have any question with uh, someone sends a message? Okay, Glenda, no problem. Okay, okay, Glenda, it's okay, no problem. Okay, so uh, right now we are going to uh, look. Tell me, do you have any question about vocabulary or about pronunciation? Huh? Or no questions? No questions? No? Teacher, they take it easy, it's como que se tome las cosas calmado, algo así. Sí, sí, literalmente dice toma las suave, pero es tome las cosas calmados o tranquilices. Y my feet are killing me. 
Ah, okay, my feet are killing me because he has walked. So the feet, the feet, he, the, he has a pain in his feet. Uh, so the foot is one, the feet is the two. So uh, my feet hurts. Or oh, a synonym for my feet, I have a pain in in on um, in my 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 feet. Uh, this is mis pies me están matando. Ah, okay, uh, okay. Pero se refiere que he caminado mucho. Mm -hmm. He has walked a lot. That's okay. what. Uh huh. Okay. More questions? No. No. Just okay. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you? Have you? Allí se une. Have you, have you, here lo unimos, have you been in New Orleans long? No, not really, como nada, verdad? Not really, just a few days. Just a few days, I can't wait to show you the city, to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? How about, como una R, verdad? How about, how about, right? How about a riverboat through? Have you been? Uh, I already done that too. Que ya lo hizo también eso, es el, el tour en el río. Oh, I, oh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? Okay. There are a lot of fun. Como una R, ¿verdad? Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me, right? Okay. Okay. So you're going to practice the conversation. Hello. Good evening, everyone. I'm going to send you the conversation. Este no lo, ya lo habías practicado. No me acuerdo. Okay. No. So um, I'm going to send you the picture to the, to the WhatsApp group. Ajá, sí, aquí está. De hecho, ya, ya se las había mandado ahora. Ok, oh. so the, I'm going to resend it to you. Ok, give me a second. Give me a second. Seven, two, eight. Ahí está. So, uh, there you have uh, the conversation. Any question about vocabulary or pronunciation or not? No questions. Uh, solo a streetcar. What the meaning of a streetcar? Ah, a streetcar is this. This is a streetcar. Look, this. This is a streetcar. This a streetcar is like a, a, a small train, but it's like a, a subway, but on the ground. Is this this? This is the streetcar. Lo vio. Alrededor de la calle, la calle. No, no, no. A streetcar is a bus. It's similar to the bus. Ah, es igual que el bus. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, but is. It's a combination of the bus and the train. The combination okay. of, no, no se ve la pantalla. A combination of the bus and the train. Train. The streetcar in Los Angeles. Okay. Uh -huh. yes, yes. Okay, yes, yes, that is a streetcar, right? It's a combination of a bus and a train. So it's similar to the subway, but on the ground. Okay, very good. Uh, now you're going to practice the conversation in purse. I'm gonna send you to the to the breakup rooms. You have the conversation in the <clears throat> in the WhatsApp group. So right now we are 15. I need groups of four. Let me see. Three or four participants per room. La cuestión es que no sé si alguno va a quedar. Okay. So let's see. Hector Enrique is listening. So as Mario as well. Okay, I'm gonna move. Okay, here we have a three, two. Okay. So I'm gonna move this person to the group number two. And I'm gonna move to this person. Now they are listening. Okay, I'm gonna move this person to the room number four. And I'm gonna move to, okay. Here we go. So um, let's see. Um, Jessica Lisset Campos saying, Manuel Alexander, stay here, please. Don't go to the breakup rooms. Here we go. Okay, the breakup rooms are open so you can practice the conversation. If one of you can project it, so you can you can do it, right? The conversation that is in the WhatsApp group, the conversation. It's great to see you, Top. Have you been in New Orleans long, right? 
que en el breakout room number one falta Judith Alfaro, Ruth Abigail Caballero. En el breakout room two falta Lucía Mejía, eh, Manuel Alexander Avilés, Miguel Ángel Clemente in the room number two. In the room number three, we have a Saúl Alejandro and Karen Elizabeth Cruz. Falta que se una. Okay? Eh, Karen Elizabeth Cruz and Saúl Alejandro. Okay? Ellos dos faltan. O no sé si... You are... Okay, Saúl, ahí está. Ajá, y ellos dos. Una se los break up rooms, please. Lucía, Manuel Alexander. Oh, Lucía, pues se puede quedar aquí. So, um, so the people that I, I stay, that are going to stay here for practicing the conversation, uh, so let's see. Uh, Jessica can be the can be Jan, and who was the other person? Okay, listener. Okay. Okay, yeah, can Miguel Angel is here. Miguel Angel can be talk, please. Hello, can you can you talk, Miguel Angel? Or no puede hablar. Can you talk? Hi, Miguel Angel. Hi, hi. Miguel Angel, can you talk? Oh, se me, me sacó Zoom y ya no me he dado cuenta. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes, very, very well. Okay, Lucia, can you talk, Lucia? Hello, you did Alfaro? Hello. Present, oh. present. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, so Lucia, can you practice the conversation with Judith Alfaro? Lucia and Judith, ¿será que pueden practicar la conversación? Yes. Okay, excellent, very good. Judith is jam y Lucia is stop, okay? Me escucha. Yes, ahorita sí. Ya hace ratito okay. creo que no. Ajá, sí, porque yo estaba va de hablar y ya ni nada. Ajá, no, no lo escuchaba. Okay. Okay, it's great to say you don't have you been in New Orleans long. Uh, it's great, great to see you. Repeat that. It's great, great to see you. Great. Great. Okay. great. Uh -huh. Sigue? No, not really. Just a few days. Just a few days. Excellent. Okay, sigue, Jan. Sea Lucia. Mm -hmm. oh, no. you did, you did one. All yes, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, no, I oh, know I can, mm -hmm. I can going to so, so you the city. Have you been to yes, just club jet? Okay, uh -huh. yes, club jet, yes. Yeah, I already been. Yeah, I already been to one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about? Hmm? Okay. Oh, way. How about river? River boat tours. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I teachers. Oh, how? How about? How about a river boat? River boat tour. No. Es decir, pero ya lo que me toca a mí. Yes. I I really always have you ridden in a street car. Uh -huh. Have you have you ridden in a street car? Have you ridden in a street car? They they are uh -huh. a lot of a lot of fun. Fun, fun. Como que a lot of fun. fun. A lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Have you reader in a street car? They are they are a lot of fun. Era era la okay. otra. Este, era uh, yes. what, what is there uh, anything anything? Anything, right? Anything you wanna do? Puede ser you want to do or you wanna do. Mm -hmm. You wanna do. do or you want to do. Uh-huh. Okay. okay. You ah okay. Why is there anything you want to do? Mm -hmm. Okay. Y el último top 
-huh. you, you know, know, I really just want wanna wanna take it easy. My feet uh -huh. are killing me. Yes, take it easy, right? My feet are killing me. Okay, take it easy. It My easy. feet are killing me. Okay, excellent, very good. Okay, anybody else who wants to practice the conversation? De los que están aquí en este momento? Uh, let me see who are here. Arno y Miguel. Miguel, ah, oh, no, Miguel ya, ya fue. Okay, Lucía, Glenda, Reina, uh, okay, Romel. Hello, Romel. Hi, Romel. Uh, are you available to talk, Romel? Ah, no, listen. Okay, no, es que no, no lo vi, no lo había visto, paréntesis. Okay, hello, Carlos Catagena. Did you practice the conversation? Hello, Carlos. Charlie, Charlie, are you there? <laughs> Hi, teacher. Here Hi. I am. Did, did you practice? Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> no me yes, of yes, course. It's okay. okay, so do you have any question about pronunciation or vocabulary so far? Mm. No question. Oh, yes. Do you have a no. no question? Okay. Nothing. So, so remember the word you have a uh, the green <clears throat> the green uh what the green marks so you have to join right have you have you been have you not 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 really just a few days have you have you had about had about uh, have you ridden in a in a right in a streetcar they are a lot of fun they are a lot of fun do you want is there anything you wanna do hay algo que quieras hacer Ya sabes, you know, I really just want to take it easy. Este, want to puede ser want to o puede ser wanna, de manera informal, ¿verdad? Con sus amigos, wanna. And also you have a take it easy. Como la N se pronuncia, la K se une con la I. Take it y la R como una, con la T como una R porque está entre dos vocales. Take it easy. My feet are killing me. You know, this is a very... A very used expression, okay, a very useful expression because it's very used for the American people, you know. So it's as an answer about, about uh, something do you want to talk about it, right? My feet are killing me. Ya sabes, yo solo quiero tomar lo al suave, o sea, relajarme. Mis pies me están matando porque he hecho todas esas actividades, okay? Now, so uh, we're going to move to the part B. Okay, can you help me to read the part B, please? Eh, Karen Elizabeth Cruz, me ayuda a leer. Listen. Hello, Karen. Can you help me to read? Are you available to talk? Yo teacher. Ah. Far B. Okay. Ah, pues este, la persona que, que dijo que. Quería. Yo. Okay, está bien. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What do they plan to do tomorrow? Uh -huh. What do they plan to do tomorrow? Que ellos planean hacer mañana, ¿verdad? Que ellos planean. You are going to listen the rest of the conversation and you're going to tell me what do they plan to do tomorrow. Ahorita solamente eh, anote las ideas principales. No es que... Page 64, exercise 2, Just part B. Ideas, right? Listen to the rest of the conversation. What do they plan to do tomorrow? So let's just stay here and relax. I know you're tired. Thanks, Jan. But we can plan something for tomorrow. Great. Have you been to the zoo? No, I haven't. But I've heard it's good. Let's go there in the afternoon. Okay. Say, have you been to the French market? I'd love to go there, too. Actually, I've never been there. You're kidding. And how many years have you lived in New Orleans? We have to go there. Okay, what did you listen? Something you listen, an expression or vocabulary or a word or a sentence you listen? Cualquier cosa que escuchado? Something for tomorrow? No, I haven't. Actually, I never been there. I never been there. Uh huh. Yes, I never been there. Excellent, very good. Somebody else? Way, way, relax. Yes. No, no hay, I'm algo así. It's okay, it's okay, don't worry. Así, así practical listening. Okay, listen one more time. Okay. Actually, Page 64, exercise 2, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What do they plan to do tomorrow? 
So let's just stay here and relax. I know you're tired. Thanks, Jan. But we can plan something for tomorrow. Great. Have you been to the zoo? No, I haven't. But I've heard it's good. Let's go there in the afternoon. Have you been there to the zoo? Right, to the zoo. What, uh, what animals can you see in the zoo? What animals can you see in the zoo? In the zoo. The lion? The lion, right? The lion, the bear. Elephant? The elephant. Very good. Excellent. Continue monkey. listening. Yes, the monkeys. Okay. Say, have you been to the French market? I'd love to go there too. Okay. Now, what, what did he say? Have you been to the French? French? Wait, let's continue. Do. French what? Okay, Not let's continue. Um, okay. Actually, I've never been there. You're kidding. And how many years have you lived in New Orleans? We have to go there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now listen one more time. Please listen one more time. Let's go there. Page 64, Excellent. Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What do they plan to do tomorrow? So let's just stay here and relax. I know you're tired. Thanks, Jan. But we can plan something for tomorrow. Great. Have you been to the zoo? No, I haven't. But I've heard it's good. Let's go there in the afternoon. Okay, so in the afternoon, right? Today in the afternoon, they are going where? Where are they going? They are going to see the animals in the... in the national... Well, I don't know if it's a national. So, but they are going to see the animals in the. In what place do you see the animals? Huh? Yeah. They are going to see the animals in the zoo, right? In the zoo. Okay. Today in the afternoon. Tomorrow. Okay. Say, have you been to the French market? I'd love to go there too. Actually, I've never been there. You're kidding. And how many years have you lived in New Orleans? We have to go there. Okay, today they are going to go where? Where? What do they plan to do tomorrow? Where are they going? Hmm? They are going to the <laughs> to the zoo. Uh, the zoo in the afternoon. Uh, al zoo van a ir en la tarde, pero ellos van a ir a la French market. They are going to the French market tomorrow. Mm. Today in the afternoon to the zoo. But tomorrow they plan to go, they plan to go uh, to the French market. French market. Okay, so uh, we finished this, this exercise. The exercise, hey, how many times have you done these things in the past week? Esta las terminamos. Did we finish this? Yes. Yes, yes right. Yes, I remember that we finished. And did you complete the homework? No. No, it, it's okay. Don't worry. Okay. So um, so let's do it together. Don't 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 worry about it. Okay. Help me to read the instruction, please. Uh, okay. Um, uh, Elizabeth Pineda Mendoza, can you help me to read the instruction? Complete this conversation. Pero, Es que no lo veo. ¿Qué es lo que voy a leer? Eh, the thing in red, lo que está de verde. Listen to the rest of the... Es que aparece algo que no me deja mirarlo. Ah, sí, la pantallita esta cosa que sale en medio, aquí a un lado. ¿Cuál? Sí. Ya la quitó, ya la quitó. Ajá, ahora sí ya no está. Ahora ya se mira. Uh -huh. Yo todavía no lo veo. Vaya, pero la parte B estamos viendo donde, donde dice complete this conversation using the present perfect. Ajá. Then practice with, with a partner. With a partner. It's okay, Ajá. okay. With a partner. Okay. So the number one, can you help me with the number one? Manuel Alexander, have you done? Have you done much exercise this week? Mm -hmm. Have you yes, done? I 
I have already. El paréntesis, en el paréntesis tiene el I paréntesis. have already been Ajá. to aerobics class for four, four times. times. Excellent, very good. Yes. So, have you done much exercise this week? ¿De dónde sacamos el done? Del do, del que el do que tenemos en paréntesis. Yes, I have already been. ¿De dónde sacamos el been? Del verbo que tiene en paréntesis. El verbo que tiene en paréntesis eh, lo va a poner en su mayoría en present, en past participle, en pasado participio. Yes, I have already been to aerobics class four times. Now, what about the number two? ¿Qué va aquí? ¿Qué sería el auxiliar para hacer la pregunta en presente perfecto? Have. Have, have, have you. Have, have you what? Played. Have you played? Play. Entonces, eh, sería así, ¿verdad? Have you played? Have you play? Play is a regular or irregular verb? Regular. 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 Porque termina en ED. Played. Mm -hmm. Have you played any sport this month? No. I haven't. No? I haven't. Okay. Solo así. I haven't. No, I haven't the time. ¿Está bien así? I haven't. Ajá. ¿Cuál es el verbo principal aquí? El, el verbo principal es Play. have. No, I haven't, no, haven't had. Ah, no, I haven't had. Excellent, very good. No. El primer having es auxiliar y el otro no. had es el verbo principal. This is the auxiliary haven't in negative and had is the, the main verb, the principal verb. Okay, how many movies? Uh, how many movies? Mm -hmm. So the movie theaters, okay. right? Uh huh. How have many have 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 you, have you, you been have you been to this month? Actually, it's negative, right? Because you have had any. Oh, what is the I have I haven't I haven't I haven't the esta esta. No me acuerdo cómo seen. es. I haven't seen. seen any yeah. yet. Actually, I haven't seen any yet, right? How many movies have you been to this month? Actually, I haven't seen any yet. Now, number four, what is the auxiliary? How or has? Have or has? Have. 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 She, he, it. Excellent, very good. He, he, she, and it, right? And and then, <clears throat> so you have the other answer. What is the verb that you have in parentheses? Have you been? Have you been? Excellent, very good. Have you been to any interesting parties recently? Recently? No. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. And the el verbo principal? No, no, I haven't. No, I haven't called it. No, I haven't. Go, go. Ah, si sí, estamos aquí en este. Go, ajá. ¿Y el, cuál es, sería el pasado participio de go? Gone. 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 I haven't gone to any parties for quite a while. For, ya hace un rato. For quite a while, the meaning is hace un, hace un buen rato, hace un rato. Okay, so the auxiliary here. Have you? Have. Have you? And here? What's the have you uh, haven't? Uh, have you had? Uh, have you? Uh -huh. Have you college? College? Cold. Cold. Yes. Cold. Have you called? El verbo regular por eso termina en de cold como una de. Have you called any friends today? Yes. I have. Yeah. Already. Already. El pasado participio de make. Making. Made. El pasado es made. Made. Uh -huh. made. Yes, I have already made three calls. How many times have you? How many times have you gone out? <laughs> gone out. Going out to eat, going out to eat this week. 
Y la última, ¿cuál sería la respuesta? Yo he comido en un restaurante de comida rápida un par de veces. How do you say that in English? I have eat. I have eat. ¿Así? ¿Así está bien? Iren. Uh, oh. Iren, ajá. Iren. I have eaten at fast food restaurant a couple of times, right? Now, listen and repeat. Have you done? Have you done? Much, Have much, you done? Much exercise this week. Much this week. Much exercise with this week. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Already. Already. In. In. Being. To aerobics. To aerobics. Class. class. Four, times. Four times. Four times. Have you played? Have you played? Any sports? Any sports? This month. This month. No, I haven't had. No, I haven't had. The time. The time. Number three. How many movies? How many movies? Have you been to this month? Have you been to this month? Actually. Actually. I haven't seen. I haven't seen. Any yet. Any yet. Number four. Have you been? Have, have you been? To any interesting. To any interesting. Parties recently. Parties recently. No, I haven't gone. No, I haven't gone. To any parties. To any parties. For quite a while. For quite, For quite a while. A while. Quite a while, right? Number next one. Uh, number five. Have you called? Have you called? Okay. Uh, repeat with me. Any friends today? Any friends today? Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Any friends today? Yes, I have. Already. 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 Made. Yes, I have already. I have. Made three calls. Made three calls. Made. Made. And number six. How many times? How many times? Okay, how many times? Uh have you gone out? Have you gone out? To eat. To eat, eat this week. This week. This week. Okay, uh, no, the last one. I have eaten. I have eaten. At fast food restaurants. At fast food restaurants. A couple of times. A couple of times. Okay. Okay, so I'm answering to one of your classmates. Elizabeth. Okay, so. A ver, there, so you have a, do you have any question with this? En este caso, usamos have you been in the number three. How many movies, en este caso movies es el lugar, ¿verdad? ¿En cuántos cines has tú estado este mes? How many Alevis. movies have you been to this month, right? Do you have any question with vocabulary, with the grammar, or with the pronunciation? ¿Tiene eh, preguntas con el vocabulario o la pronunciación? ¿O alguna duda que tenga? No. No questions? No. No? No. Okay, excellent, very good. Now, here we have the grammar focus. Present perfect versus simple past. Now, we use, okay, can you help me to read, please? Uh, me ayuda a leer. Eh, Rommel, ah, no, eh, Miguel Ángel Clemente, está disponible de, de hablar. ¿Puede hablar? Miguel Ángel? Yes. Okay, yes, can, can you help me to read this information, please? Uh, this use the present perfect for an indefinite time for an indefinite time use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past yes uh -huh. yes right for a, a no specific time in the past right now the second line can you help me to read the second line please uh, Manuel Alexander Aviles Chacon use 
Please use the simple pass. Use the simple pass for a specific event in the past. Ah, yes, right. Entonces usamos, usamos el pasado simple para un evento específico en el pasado. Y el presente perfecto para un tiempo indefinido, ¿verdad? Un tiempo indefinido en el pasado. O sea que no se define. Okay, now, for example, the first question and the answers. Can you help me to read uh, the questions and the answers? Eh, no sé si Ruth Abigail Caballero me ayuda. No, Ruth. Si Ruth no... uh, la que dice, have you ever? Yes, this one. Have you ever eaten? Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I eat it. I ate it. Uh -huh. I ate it. Once once in, in Paris. In Paris. ¿Y la negativa? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I've been never eating, eating it. Eating it. Eating it. Excellent, very good. Now, yes, right? Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Right? ¿Has tú alguna vez comido comida eh, marroquí? Yes, I have. Sí, lo he. I ate it, según de verdad, como la es muda de ate, el pasado de eat, la te suena con la I. I ate it once in Paris. Yo lo comí una vez en París. No, I haven't. I've never eaten it. Entonces la N se une con la I. I never eaten it, right? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I never eaten it, right? So this one is in present perfect. Eh, pero aquí en esta primera pregunta, ¿dónde está la oración en pasado? ¿Cuál es la oración en pasado? Hmm? What is the, the sentence in past? ¿Cuál sería la oración en pasado ahí? Eat. Have you ever eaten? Ah? Eating Morocco food. No, esa sería una pregunta en presente perfecto. Have, ¿Has alguna vez comido eh, comida marroquí? Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I never eaten it. ¿Cuál sería la oración en pasado? En simple past. Oración. Uh -huh. uh, first. The... First. So, yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. Yes. <laughs> This is the sentence in, uh, I ate it once in Paris. Is the sentence in simple past for a specific event in the past, right? For a specific event in the past, right? Okay, now the next question with the answers. Can you help me to read, please? Me ayuda a leer. Vamos a ver. ¿Quién no ha participado? Elizabeth Pineda Mendoza, no sé si puede hablar. Elizabeth? Sí. Okay, can you help me to read this one? The, the, the second question. Have you ever had? Have you ever had green curry? Uh huh. Sí. <laughs> yes, I have. Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. I tried it several years ago. Years ago. Uh huh. No, I haven't. Siga, no, I haven't. I I've never had, had it. it. Yo nunca lo he tenido, o sea, nunca lo he comido. Excellent, very good. Thank you so much. Very good. Have you ever had green curry? ¿Has tú alguna vez tenido curry verde? O sea, comido, ¿verdad? Se dice tenido, pero en este caso had absorbe el significado de comer. ¿no? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. Sí, yo le he probado eso muchos años, hace muchos años. No, I haven't. I never had it. No, yo nunca he Nunca he tenido eso o probado, comido eso, ¿verdad? What is the sentence in the simple past? ¿Cuál sería la oración en pasado aquí? I never ha had it. No, porque mire, tenemos ha, tenemos ha y, y ha. tenemos el had. Y el otro had aquí, que eso significa que es presente perfecto porque hay dos had. ¿Cuál sería la oración en pasado? Uh -huh. Sería. I, I, I try. I tried it, right? I tried it several years ago. La S se une con la verdad. Years ago. I tried it. Y la D entre try it se vuelve una R. Porque está entre dos vocales. I tried it several years ago, right? I tried it several years ago. Okay, this one, uh, 
So the red ones are for a specific event in the past that already accomplished the goal. Okay, so they are in past. I ate it once in Paris. It's already a specific event in past and already finished. The other, I tried it several years ago, already finished, and it's a specific event in past. Okay, it's clear? It's clear? Or not clear? Más o menos. Yes, más o menos. <laughs> so, so, so. Okay, you are on. Okay, so very good. It's nice. I like it. So you have a, in this one, in this part, you have a, las oraciones que tiene rojo son oraciones de un evento específico que ya pasó, ¿verdad? Un evento específico que ya pasó. Por eso están en pasado cinco. En cambio, eh, las oraciones que están abajo de las rojas, I never eaten it, I never had it, son un tiempo indefinido en el pasado, ¿verdad? Ok, we're going to move to this one. Nos vamos a mover, espérenme. We're going to move to this, to the other PDF. ¿Verdad que la vez pasada no les mostré este? Sí. No, no. No, ¿cuál otro grupo entonces? Now, vocabulary preview. Things to do today. Cosas para hacer hoy. Now, the number one and the number two. Van a ayudar a leer. The number one, the number two. Uh, quiero ver. Eh, Karen Elizabeth Cruz. No será, si me ayuda la number one and the number two. Please. Será. Can you help me with the number one and number two? Hello, Karen. Creo que Karen, Karen Elizabeth Cruz no puede ahorita. Ok, Manuel Alexander Avilés, number one and number two. Cosas para hacer hoy. Uh -huh. uh, go to the bank, Excellent. do the laundry. Go to the bank and do the laundry. El, el pasado participio de go is gone, right? Gone, gone to the bank. Excellent, very good. Go, go, go to the bank, gone to the bank. Uh, do the laundry. Eh, don the laundry, hacer la lavada, ¿verdad? Don the laundry. Ok, number three and number four. Help me to read the number three and number four. Jessica Lizette Campos Campos. Mrs. Campos, me ayuda a leer. Yes. Get a haircut. Uh -huh. ¿Ah? La okay. siguiente. Right, right to the grandma. Right to grandma, right? Right to grandma, right? Right. Ok, qué bueno que ya volvió a entrar este. Sí, porque allí no sabía qué más, qué más pedir. Hiciera, ok. So you have a get a haircut. Tenemos la T entre dos vocales. Get a haircut. Y la U de haircut, como que si es una, una, una qué? Una A. Get a haircut. Ahí ya, ya le envió Lucía, ¿verdad? Bárbara Lucía. Ok, get a haircut. Write to grandma. The past participle for get is get a garden. <clears throat> garden a haircut. Right, right, the past participle for right to grandma, to the grandmother is written. Right, written, written to grandma. Okay, number five and number six. Me ayuda con la number five and number six. Eh, Naomi, que me ayuda con la cinco y la seis. To read, solo leer. Okay, teacher, permítame. Oh, no se ve casi. No, las estoy haciendo son porque no las miro acá en el teléfono, permítame. Mm -hmm. uh, take take the dog for a walk. Mm -hmm. Give the dog a bath. Yes, take the dog for a walk and give. The past, ¿Cuál sería el pasado participio de take y el de give? Take, take and y el de give? Mm, given. Given. given, right? No giving, it's given. Taking the dog for a walk. Cosas que yo he hecho hoy. I have taken the dog for a walk. Yo he llevado al perro a caminar, a pasear. I have, I have, este, I have, I've, I have given the dog a bath. He bañado al perro. Okay, the number seven and the number eight. Can you help me to read, please? Quiero ver. Eh, Elizabeth Pineda Mendoza. Elizabeth Pineda. Number seven and number eight. <laughs> Speak to the laundry. Yeah. Laundry. Try the kids to their dance lesson. Dance lesson. Dance lesson. Okay, people. Uh, to all of you, what is the past participle for a speak? 
and for dry. The past participle, pasado participio, o sea, la tercera columna de estos verbos. Okay. Speak, speaking. Spoke, uh -huh. speak, spoken. Spoken speak. to the landlord. And drive, driven. Driving. Driven. driven, driven. No se dice driven. The pronunciation is driven. driven. Driven the kids to their dance lessons. Yes. Solo faltan dos más. Okay, so, uh, so in the last ones, uh, can you help me to read the last one, please? Uh, Elizabeth Pineda Mendoza. Number okay. nine and ten. It launch okay. my exercise bike. Excellent, very good. Now for for the bird eat, what is the past participle for eat? For eating. So eating. Eat eat eat. Right? And ride, riding a camel. Eating, riding my exercise bike. Montar mi bicicleta de ejercicio. Okay? And the last one, the number 11, swim. And the number 12, sing. Okay, can you help me to read, please? Uh, can you help me to read Saul Alejandro? No sé si me ayuda. Yes, teacher. Hmm? Swim and see a movie. Ah, see a movie, right? See a movie. El pasado participio de swing es swam. O sea, la tercera columna que tiene en presente, pasado, pasado participio. La tercera columna, swing, swam, swam. Y el, el number 12, el pasado participio de sí es tipo sí. Sing, right? Visto a movie. Yo he visto una, una película. Entonces tenemos este vocabulario. Do you have any question with vocabulary or pronunciation? ¿Tiene preguntas con el vocabulario o la pronunciación? Yes. ¿Cuál? Speak to the landlord. 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 Hablar landlord. con el conserje. Hablar con el que le arrenda el cuarto, el apartamento. Ah, conserje, landlord. No, okay. no el conserje, perdón. Es el, el, el conserje es janitor. El landlord es la persona que cobra por alquilarles. Ok. Uh -huh. The landlord, the specific translation for a landlord is a, <clears throat> is a person who, uh, for example, he uh, makes, um, or he asks for the money, right? If he asks for the money, the money for the room where you live, right? Arrendador o el casero o el de, okay. dueño de la casa propietario, ese es Lano. Okay, get a haircut es cortarse el cabello, ¿verdad? Get a haircut and getting a haircut. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Do more questions? Do you have more questions? No. Okay, very good. Okay, yeah. ahora que ya sabemos cosas que yo he hecho hoy. I've gone to the gone to the bank. I done the laundry. I getting a haircut. I written to grandma. I taken the dog for a walk. Todas las cosas que he hecho hoy. I given the dog a bath. I spoken to the landlord. Uh, I, uh, what, what else? Uh, I driven the kids to their le dance lesson. I eaten lunch. I ridden my exercise bike. I swam. I've, or I have swam, or I've swam. I seen a movie. Yo he visto una película, ¿verdad? I swing a movie. Okay, now here you go. Can you take the, the screenshot, Lucia, please, please, please? About yeah. this. Yes, yes, yes. Now, the title. Can me puede uh, ayudar a leer el título, Miguel? Yes. I've. I driven. I driven. I driven truck. Trucks. For money given. Ah, sí, ya lo había enviado, Lucía. Perdón, no me había fijado. De verde lo había enviado. Ok. Yes. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lucía. Uh, thank you, Miguel. I driven trucks for many years. ¿Qué quiero decir aquí? I driven trucks, cars, for many years. What is the meaning? This is a truck. Huh? Sí, ha manejado... Eh, tro, tro, ¿Cómo se llaman esos camiones trocas. pasados? Trocas. ¿Por cuántos años ha manejado eso, esos trocas? Yo he conducido, yo he manejado trocas ah. o camiones por muchos años, right? Oh, Imagine ah. that you are in an interview, you are in a job interview. Imagínese que está 
en una entrevista de empleo, ¿verdad? Entonces, mm -hmm. ok, letter A. Can you help me to read letter A, please? Eh, eh, Carlos Cartagena, me ayuda a leer la A. Y este, eh, Saúl, me ayuda a leer B, please. Carlos A, eh, Saúl, letter B. Ok. Do you know how to drive trucks? Se ve. Ahí se va, ahí se lo ve. <ríe> Do you know how to drive? Ya puede empezar a leer. Eh, Saúl y ¿quién era el otro? Carlos. Perdón. Carlos A, Saúl B, así dije. Yes. Ya la leyó. <ríe> did, you, did you already read it? Carlos es letter A. Ah, Carlos, ok. Carlos. Carlos, you are letter A. En Saúl, letter B. Hola, Carlos. Uh, ok. I have to do the same questions. Yes, yes, the same questions. Yes. I have to ask the same questions. Okay. Do you know how to, you know how to drive trucks? Uh -huh. Yes. I driven trucks for many years. Uh -huh, yes. I, okay. I driven. I've. Recuerde, recuerde pronunciar este como una F, verdad? I've, I've, I've driven trucks for many years. Do you know how to drive trucks? Están en una entrevista de trabajo, verdad? Yes, I driven trucks for many years, right? So remember the pronunciation is how to drive, how to drive trucks, right? Do you know how to drive trucks? Ok, now let's check it out this one, the number one. Ok, ¿qué es lo que vamos a cambiar en la conversación? Uy, 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 uy. apague la cámara sin querer. Sorry, ok. So, what are we going to change in the conversation? A and B. So, you have a verb over there. Tiene el verbo drive, ¿verdad? Y tiene el verbo driven. Entonces, usted va a cambiar. En vez de try tracks, Usted va a decir write reports. Write reports. Y en vez de driven, usted lo que va a decir es, en vez de, I, en vez de driven, usted va a utilizar el verbo que tiene abajo. Mire, ya lo tiene en pasado participio el verbo. Y obviamente lo, eh, lo esto del, del tracks lo saca de arriba, ¿verdad? Do you know how to drive tracks? Yes, I driven. driven. Tracks for many years. Now, la number one. Do you know how to, how to write reports? En la entrevista de trabajo, in the job interview. Do you know how to write reports? Do you know how to write reports? Yes. I've, okay. I've, en vez de, en vez de driven, ¿qué sería? I've written, I've written reports for many years. Ok, now let's check it out this one. Vamos a ver esta de acá. Draw cartoons. ¿Qué es draw cartoons? Draw cartoons. Dibujar caricaturas. Y el pasado participio es wrong. Wrong cartoons. Vamos a ver. Entonces sería, do you know how to? How to what? ¿Cómo sería? No. Do you know how to draw cartoons? Entonces tiene la respuesta. Yes, I've... Ya no vamos a utilizar draw, ¿verdad? Porque ese es... Eh, eh, draw. Drawn. Yes, I've drawn. ¿Qué iría aquí en vez de lo de rojo? I've drawn. I've drawn. Cartoons. Cartoons. Y dejamos esto igual. For many years. Do you know how to draw how to draw cartoons? Yes, I've drawn cartoons for many years. Vamos a ver este otro. Do yoga. ¿Cuál es el pasado participio de do? Done. Done. Excellent. Very good. Entonces sería, do you know how to do yoga? ¿Sabes cómo hacer la yoga? <laughs> okay, quizá la, la, van a contestar, la van a contratar para, para masaje o algo así. No sé. Do you know how to draw do, how to how to do yoga? Yes, I've... ¿Qué sería aquí? Don. Don. ¿Y aquí? 
um, yoga. yoga for many years, right? Do you know how to how to do yoga? Yes, I've I have done or I've done yoga for many years. Está claro cómo se va a ir cambiando. Ya les di tres ejemplos. El number one, el de write reports, written, el draw y el do yoga. Ok, so for tomorrow you're going to choose, porque ya se me acabó el tiempo, para mañana va a escoger o el dos, o el tres, o number four, number five, o number six. Póngalo eh, bien para tomarle la foto. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Okay. So, yes, ¿Vale? ahí está. Esta, pero ¿Qué? no se toma todo, no se agarra todo, no importa. No, las últimas no, porque no importa, las últimas. Vale, mira. So, eh, for tomorrow you're going to change two of these ones. Y me las va a leer en la clase para, ma para mañana. Entonces, lo único que va a cambiar es esto de rojo por lo que tiene ya aquí, lo primero, ¿verdad? Y lo de celeste por lo, lo segundo de abajo, ¿verdad? ¿Está claro cómo es la tarea? Bien, claro, como la horchata. <laughs> como la horchata de mor. <laughs> ok, that's nice, very good. So, uh, so right now I want to pass the attendance list. En estos tres minutitos que me quedan, voy a pasar la, la asistencia. So just give me a second, please. Ahorita se va a poner negra la pantalla, porque como abrí el Excel, no la había abierto. Mañana nos ayuda con el examen final. A mí me Ay, falta no. el tercero. <laughs> ok, no problem. I can help you. Yes. Yes, claro que sí les puedo ayudar. Ok, Glenda Lisset Guzmán, present. Ed, I am Ed, here, teacher. Ok, Ediselda Elizabeth Pineda. Present. Ok, Héctor Enrique. Yes, Sica Lisset Campos. Present. Ok. Present. Ok, Judith del Carmen Alfaro. Judith, Karen, Karen Elizabeth Cruz. Present, teacher. Ok, Lucía del Carmen. Present. Manuel Alexander. Ok. Present. María Elizabeth de la O. María José Torres. No, right. No today. Mario Ernesto is working. Miguel Ángel. Noemí. Present. Ok, Miguel. Ok, Noemí. Ok, Miguel. Roberto Carlos y Rommel. Ok. Ok, Ruda Abigail Caballero. Saúl Alejandro. Angel. Excellent, very good. Egg Stephanie Beatriz Carballo. Okay, so the homework is this one for tomorrow, right? Y Lucía les mandó la factura. So see you tomorrow. Me voy por el otro grupo, así que. So uh, have a good night. So see you tomorrow, okay?